Hey YouTube, it's Fearless coming to you. I set up a little station to show you guys my Stay Matte Foundation Routine updated. Okay? And <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys what I do to keep my face matte. And I have to do this because I think I'm the oiliest person in America. Yeah. Okay? Keep in mind, let me just give you my rundown. My makeup is on for 12 hours a day, 4 days a week. Okay? Let me explain to you why. I work 10 hour shifts, okay, with a half an hour lunch. That's 10 and a half hours off the rip right there. 30, mornings, 30 minutes in the morning to get dressed. That is 11 hours. Is that 11 hours? 10, 10 and a half, 11. Yeah, keep up with me because I got to keep up with myself. Okay, that's 11 hours. And then the drive home, we'll say, is another 30 minutes, so that's 11 and a half hours, give or take. There are some days that I don't come straight home. There are some days I have to go pick my daughter up from her after-school sport, so it's on for another 30 minutes. So 11 and a half to 12 hours a day is just my day. And I only want to block twice. And with my routine, I block once or twice, okay? So I'm just going to show you guys what works for me if you're oily. Excuse me, I know I sound funny. I'm still under the weather, but I'm here, okay? And I wanted to show you guys this. So let's get started. First and foremost, what I've done so far, what you see is my Maybelline Baby Skin is on my face. My Stay Matte Rimmel Primer is on my face. My Milk of Magnesia is what you see that's white is on my face. My next step, is my mattifying powder and I'll show you guys a couple my next step is one of these one of these mattifying powders before I even do my foundation okay and what I do is I take a sponge and I go in my mattifying powder and I put that all over my face Okay, all over my face. That is what I do first. And I'm going to use the iPad as a mirror. I actually probably need to get another mirror too. So I'm not looking retarded. Okay, and during the week I wear... um department store foundations and powders and uh, on the weekends and when I'm off I wear drugstore and BB creams so my next step now that my face is matte my next step is my spray and my foundation okay I'm going to do the elf where is it elf flawless foundation with you guys So my next step is to spray. This is the Urban Decay Makeup spray, Setting Spray All Nighter. And I'm just going to show you guys basic routine. No contouring or nothing like that. Just basically what I need to do to keep my face matte. Okay. I'm going to use this mirror here and put this on. And this is my second time using elf and I don't like the smell it goes away but I don't like the smell hopefully my lighting is good I tried to come somewhere in my place that has good lighting so you can see This foundation is light to medium. It's buildable. I'm not going to build it tonight because I'm not going anywhere. I just wanted to show you guys what I do. Okay. So I put my foundation on. This is every day, every morning. I put my foundation on.
After I put my foundation on, I do a translucent powder. This translucent setting powder usually consists of Ruby Kisses, the Aspen powder, or the NYX Mineralize Skin Finish. I also have Max Prep and Prime, and I also have the Makeup Forever Professional HD Setting Spray. So I take that, and I like the translucent powders because they dry clear and they don't interfere with my makeup. And I put that all over my face. That is my next step. After I do the translucent powder, I would normally go ahead and do my highlight, okay? And then I do my face powder. On the weekends, drugstore, not the weekends. I'm sorry, on the weekends, drugstore, not the weekends department. So today I'm going to use... The, what is it? Rockin' Republic for you guys. And that one's kind of red. So how about we use a Nika K? Nika K. My face powder. And my face powder, I will put all over my face. Okay, and this is my basic face for work every day. I will contour, I will blush, I will do my highlight, I will clean off my eyebrows, they're tattooed, so I just take a Q-tip and wipe them off. And that is my face daily. My face consists of the primers, two primers, the Milk of Magnesia is the third primer. I do my powder, matting fine powder. I do my foundation, I do a setting powder, okay, and then I do my powder that I'm going to wear, my pressed powder, whatever pressed powder I'm going to wear for the day, and then I do my highlight, my contouring, and my blush, and when I finish all of that, I normally go back in with a different setting spray, and it's been this one. For the past month so yes I do use two different setting sprays and I don't spray that on my face I don't spray that on my face I have another sponge I shake shake up your setting sprays ladies before you use it I spray it on a sponge and I do this I press it in to where I get oily I press it in I don't stand here and go go like this and fan. Try this method. Try this method. Leave me a comment below. You will not regret it. Pressing it into your face is a lot less um, shocking to get that, that alcohol just sprayed right into your face. Like pressing it in actually presses it in. It does not mess up your makeup and it sets your foundation. And I'll give you a close up. And like I said, this is just a basic face when I do this face I only have to blot twice a day I'm at work at 7 in the morning makeup is put on at 6 30 I'm at work at 7 normally I have to block about 2 2 30 and normally I don't blot again or if I do it's when I have to go get my daughter and that's about 5 30 and I just hit my nose because I don't know if I'm gonna stop anywhere or stop to any stores when I pick her up from her um, aftercare activities. And she does not want to be looking like a can of oil walking into the store or walking into where someone is. So it is an extended routine. It's a long routine for the morning. But it works for me. So if you're oily, try that. I really don't know what 
is working. I don't know if it's the combination of the setting sprays and all the powders. I don't know if it's a combination of setting my liquid foundation prior to finishing my face. Whatever it is, I'm loving it. It works. I work in customer service. You're not going to walk into my job and see me with oil or makeup sweating off my face. I stay fabulous with it. If you have any other suggestions or recommendations or questions, leave them below. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. And until next time, sweeties, don't forget to plan your makeup.